I'm not that strong. So why would God say be strong? Let's talk about that. Yeah. Good morning, beautiful people. It is Monday. Whew, I did not sleep well last night. I love my wife so much that I can't really get sleep when she's not here. Uh, pray for uh, Ellie Tolly. She might be having an operation today on her gallbladder. And then pray for JT and Sarah, because JT's still in the hospital recovering, and Sarah's a mess. So just pray for the Tolly family altogether. And my wife, she spent the night with... Uh, Ellie in the hospital, so she was sleeping in the next to the next room in the bed, uh, keeping her company. Anyway, so Monday morning, whoo! I, I think we need to hear this. See, we went through the Book of Joshua. If you didn't come to the sermon, it's online. It's it's on Facebook and YouTube uh, here shortly, and um, <clears throat> we're talking about Joshua and that there's two types of fear. One fear is the, the fear of destruction or judgment or condemnation uh, by God if you're not a Christian. And then there's the fear that a Christian has for God, which is reverence, piety, uh, revering, and giving him glory. Because he is the creator of all things, and we acknowledge that. And so I'd rather have the Christian fear of God than the non-Christian fear of God. And so... In the book of Joshua, it repeats itself over and over again. Do not be afraid. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Do not be afraid. Actually, it's a command for us not to be afraid of the world and what they can do to us. I mean, seriously, what can the world do to Christians? Absolutely nothing, really. If they hurt us, they're hurting God. If they uh, lift us up, they're lifting up God because we should give all of our pride in in to God. If they murder us, then we get to go to heaven. If they don't murder us, then we love them because they're not hurting us, they're hurting God. So that's how we can love our enemies, because they're not really hurting us. So what can anybody do to us? Absolutely nothing. And so if, if the world can't do really anything to us to affect our faith, to bring us away from God, then what do we have to fear? Well, Joshua and the Israelites uh, had to go to battle with some of these the biggest armies that were at that time. And Joshua had to lead them into battle. And so um, before they crossed the Jordan, before they went to battle, before they even uh, touched the sword to another um, nation, God gave Joshua this command. And this is, and this is one of the famous commands here. It says, this is my command, be strong and courageous. Now, obviously he wasn't talking physical strong because I'm, I can't really obey that command because I'm not that strong. But strength comes in different forms. And spiritually, I am strong. Spiritually, I renew my mind every day. Spiritually, I'm courageous. I'm, I'm very brave with my faith. Uh, to tell the truth in love, even if nobody wants to hear it. And it says this, do not be afraid or discouraged. Now, I, I can get that whole don't be afraid thing, <clears throat> but the discouraged, whew, sometimes this world just beats you up. But this is a command, because if we're with God, God owns everything. God is our father. God is our friend, our brother, our savior, our king, and he owns everything. Then we are his sons and daughters, and we reign with him. So really, we don't have to be afraid or discouraged, even though our human flesh keeps beating us up. And then it says, For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. And even Jesus, when he left this earth, he says, I'll be with you until the very end of the age. So if Jesus, the Holy Spirit, God is with us, what do we have to be afraid of? We really don't, do we? So my challenge for your day is don't be afraid. Don't be discouraged. Have strength and have courage in Jesus Christ. It was commanded to Joshua. It was commanded to us when Jesus left this earth. And Jesus is with us. So, 
Just be strong and courageous. I love you. Jesus loves you too. Have a great Monday and be strong and courageous. Love you, bye.